Today, I'll show you how to do your independent reserve crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another Australian crypto exchange. Today, we're talking about independent reserve. So I'll tell you a little bit about the exchange itself, then I'll jump into the integration. For this one, we have both the API option and the CSV route, so you can choose whichever you'd like. Once we're done with that, I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, I'll leave you with a bunch of different resources. If you have any questions or issues, we'd be happy to help you out. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Independent Reserve was founded all the way back in 2013, making it a very old exchange in terms of, you know, crypto exchange terms. Um, it's based out of North Sydney, Australia. It is currently one of the largest Australian exchanges and just outside the top 100 in terms of trading volume. And the Independent Reserve has a wealth of features for experienced traders, as well as their own app if you'd like to trade on the go. But that's enough about them. Let's jump into the integration. So first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, no problem. You can make one completely free. Head over to the wallet section once you're signed in, um, type in or click on, sorry, add wallets. And then we're going to type in uh, independent reserve. And as I said before, there are two different options, the API route and the import from file route. So let's start off with the setup auto sync, the API. So we're going to click on that and I'll show you exactly where to get the uh, API key and API secret. So from their website, you're going to log in obviously into your account and go into the settings area. And from here, this website might be a little bit slow and that's okay. From here, you're going to click on API keys and here is where you would generate the necessary API keys. So here is your API key and your API secret. So make sure to copy and paste both of those into Coinly. So that's one route you can take if you'd like to import via the CSV file, no problem. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to find the independent reserve. This time we're going to click import from file and then we're gonna head on to their platform. And actually on the main trade page, if you scroll on down, um, you're gonna have a order history option. And then here a small icon that says download order history. So click on that and you're gonna get a file depending on which date you would like to set. So, you know, for demo purposes, I'll set, you know, this year. So from January 1st um, onward. And then once we have that file, we wanna make sure that it's in um, a CSV format. We don't want a PDF because that won't be um, that'll be pretty much useless for Coinly. So make sure to click on um, download order history as a CSV file. So let me pick today's date to June 29th. And then we're going to click um, here, uh, sorry, download. And that's pretty straightforward, right? If you have been using this platform for many years, make sure to import your entire transaction history. So from the day you made your account till today, till when you're filing your taxes, um, Coinly needs all that information to be able to calculate your crypto taxes. And once you have that file, simply drag and drop it into Coinly. It might be multiple files, depending on how many, you know, uh, if you can import the entire history from, you know, several years. I think you can, but if not, that's okay. You can also import multiple files. So once you have that order statement in Coinly, click import, and there you have it. So once you have your transactions imported, whether the API route or the CSV route, head over into the transactions area. And here you can take a look at everything kind of under the hood. Coinly has done all the difficult parts, which is calculate your capital gains and losses. Um, if you have any staking, make sure to tag those correctly or make sure that those are tagged correctly, you know, sent to pool, sent from pool. And then once you're happy with everything you see here, head over into the tax reports area. And here you have a fantastic summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. So you can kind of monitor and see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And once you're happy with that, scroll on down and select a tax report that's appropriate for your needs. As you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different um, options. The one that you're probably gonna be most interested in is the ATO tax report or potentially the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print and give directly to an accountant to combine with your other tax documentation, or you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this wallet integration video. If you have any questions, no problem. I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center, where we have countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section where you can leave, you know, any issues or problems you might be having with our software. We have a forum section where we can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section. If you want to reach us directly, we'd love to help you out. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.